All right, I just want to start the show off doing something I don't typically do. I kind of squeeze viewer gifts somewhere in the middle or at the end of the video. But I just wanted to say thank you to everybody out there. You know, we had 18 sales going out today, and I think eight of them are from viewers. So that is not lost on me at all. And I just wanted to say thank you to everybody out there. And for those of you who don't have a YouTube show and don't have people buying in a man or whatnot, I realize that. And this is not a competition. That's not what this show is about. This show is not about saying, look what I can do and look what you can't do. And look at these great things I find and look at what you... I'm rooting for everybody out there. I hope you're doing the same for us. You know, it's just not fun for me to do anything else. To look at other people's success and be jealous of it is an awful way to live your life. That's not how I want this show to be. But... I wanted to take just a second to show a viewer gift here at the beginning because it's about my second love too, which is history. And this is an amazing story. I wish I could spend 20 minutes on it. I'm just going to spend a couple minutes on it. It's a gift that got sent to us from a viewer, somebody who has bought plenty of things from us, Keith and Janet. And you've heard me mention them many times. And Janet wrote this wonderful note and they sent us a great gift, a couple of them. But the gift to me really was the note and the story attached. So let me show it to you real quick. All right, so first, look at these amazing gifts. This great old Minnesota plate, and we will find a spot for that one for sure. And welcome to our cabin. And this is a wonderful sign as well, metal sign. And I don't know where I'm going to put it. I just tested over here because I thought this would be a great place, and I tested outside. It's going to be just a tad too big for here. I might put it here anyways because I like it so much. Might put it outside. I might also put it right here because it does fit in this space, but you can't see it too much there. All right, but back to this. So this was bought out of an antique shop that both Keith and Janet are apparently friends with the owner. And I can't tell from the date of this and who wrote it. This is an amazing story. Here is the, it's called Hot Sam's Antiques and Photo Park. <laughs> Just this eclectic, obviously it's a collector here. And it's Lakeville, Minnesota. I think that's right. And I haven't read this, but I did read this whole story here. And I'm going to read this soon. But just look at these interesting places at this. And they apparently, if you remember, they bought an Enaman and they and they sent it to these folks or, or gave it to these folks. And she said that it is uh, working its magic in the antique store. But when I read where this came from and the history behind it, I just was, uh, to be honest with you, I got emotional. I don't know if you know that about me, but I get pretty emotional at strange stuff, just being sentimental. And I just absolutely loved reading this story here. So I can't wait. I don't know if I'll ever make it up that way. That's one part of America I've never been to. But let me tell you what, I'm gonna put this card back there. And if I ever get a shot to make it up to this place, I'm gonna make it up to that spot. So here is this, I, I obviously I don't have time to read this. But this is this amazing story of an immigrant to our country in 1920. And this is an Armenian who's coming to the United States in 1920. And, you know, I'm a history teacher, so I teach my students to read between the lines of history. None of this story is actually in here. But if you know history, you know that the Armenian genocide had taken place um, in the years preceding 1920, all the way uh, during World War I as the Ottoman Empire collapses. And the Armenian Christians were being slaughtered and uh, rounded up and all kinds of things. And the Armenian diaspora occurred. And a lot of Armenian Americans come to this country then. And this is an absolutely amazing story. I will maybe read it sometime. I don't know. Maybe I'll take pictures of it and put it on Instagram. But just an amazing story. And it intrigued me. And I just totally paused my day to read it of an amazing uh, American. So it's written by Gladys Hood who is the daughter of the person that this is written about. And I don't quite know the connection here, so if you guys could help me, fill me out here, the connection to the present owners of this store. But there is a connection, obviously, and you'll see this here. So, And they talk about an antique store. And At any rate, Keith and Janet, thank you so much. You made my day in so many ways by sending this to me. And I appreciate it. And for those of you who are like, all right, Kevin, get on with the show. Um, I'm sorry, I just had to do it. It was amazing. And if you if you live up there, look this place up and go tell them uh, Commonwealth Picker said hi, because that was awesome. So thank you so much to both of you and uh, on with the show.
Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. My name is Kevin and we're in the Commonwealth cabin. Thank you for indulging me with my little story. You know, like I said, I, I, I get caught up sometimes. I get emotional about strange things. Not that that's a strange thing, but whenever I get those interpersonal stories and that story of struggle or triumph, I just love it. I absolutely love it. And then throw in a little bit of history and you got me hooked. So at any rate, uh, let's take a look at what sold today in here. I had an interesting sale. It was a bit of a slow day. If you throw out the Inaman, it was a bit of a slow day of sales, but that's okay. I have not been listing too much and you have the summer slowdown. I'm hearing lots of murmuring out there of a real slowdown for the summer like you would typically see. Not from everybody because I see some folks saying, you know, sales are crazy. But I think overall sales maybe have kind of peaked for a little bit of the summer and we'll kind of see what this roller coaster takes us. But if you're new to selling, you're going to have a roller coaster. There's just no doubt about it. It's not going to be great every day. Some days are going to be good. Some days are going to be bad. And just take the opportunity to use that time to do something else productive in your life, not necessarily in reselling, but do something productive. So anyway, hey, I'm wearing that hat, Dan. So thanks so much. Appreciate it. And look at this. I'm wearing my t-shirt as well. So we appreciate all of the nice folks out here. So we do appreciate all the kindness and all the folks that have sent us something. Let's take a look at what's up. All right, first one here is kind of boring, but it's exciting to me because this was part of last year's club head cover buy at the golf course that we buy their uh, lost and found stuff. And this was one I wasn't sure was ever going to go. It has a hole in it. It's generic. I'm like, do I even list this thing? And I was about ready to give up on it. And it sold. So this one sold for, I think, $7.91 free shipping. So it didn't sell for much, but I didn't have to give up on it and get rid of it. And it did sell. So I love those. All right, I gotta move Mickey and Minnie back here. Gotta give my wife credit for this one. This was, we picked this one up at a garage sale. I don't think I've aired this one yet. I don't think. Actually, we might have. And picked this one up in a lot. I think all in maybe a buck or two because we bought it in a lot. These sellers, bigger ones of these, I think these are Empire. I think that's what they're called. Let me look, I can't remember. Empire Plastic Corp, 1968. And this is just a little one. And my wife saw it, and I'm like, yeah, I missed that too, you know. I do get distracted every once in a while, you know. I think Patriot Picker was there. And we grabbed this, and it sold for $20 plus shipping, and it's really light, so I love this. It's an easy seller. This will probably go in the shoebox. The USPS shoebox is probably what it'll fit in. They're not completely unbreakable, and the older ones are a little bit more breakable, but they're pretty sturdy. Don't overlook those blow molds, especially if you live in a really populated area, because you can sell those on Facebook Marketplace um, fairly easily. Like I, I know Cincinnati Picker, I've seen John do that many times, and it inspired me actually to pick one up, even though I don't do very well on Facebook Marketplace around here at all, because there's not that many people. But I picked one up anyways, knowing I can sell it in the antique booth, and when I looked it up, I'm like, holy cow, this thing is going to get like 125 bucks plus shipping. You've seen it, you'll see it on a Commonwealth Picker video soon. This was something, it's funny, viewer bought one of these the other day, and another viewer bought one today. I mentioned in the video, I'm like, hey, Watch this, you know, this is why I want to pick this up. Somebody's going to buy this thing. And of course, two viewers did to make my prediction come true. It's a little easier when you got viewers that are watching you, watching you pick it at a garage sale. Originally 78 cents. Somebody asked about stickers and I've heard this talked about on other shows often. I don't take the stickers off of vintage items. If I had a sticker on a new item that said one price and I'm selling it for a lot more, I would take the sticker off, but on an old item, sometimes they want to see that old sticker. So this is a Kmart uh, blue light special, I suppose. Auto visor tissue holder. Fits all car visors. <laughs> so anyway, this was over $10.95 plus shipping. And I went to a viewer, so let me read to you real quick. This is from Diana, and Diana says, Hi, Commonwealth Picker. Love your videos. Very fun to watch. Thanks, Diana. So Diana, thank you. Thank you for this purchase, and it is headed your way. All right, picked up an ashtray, as I often do, and then I ask myself, why did I just pick this one up? I'm trying to remember where I got this one from. I can't remember. Made in the USA, but I picked it up. I'm like, this is a unique design. I've never seen that before, and it has one little tiny flaw right there. But other than that, it's a cool little ashtray, and it sold. I, I think I paid 50 cents for it, and it's so a matter of fact, I know I did because it had a little sticker up there, I remember. So it sold for $7 plus shipping. So it's not a lot of money, but it's worth it to me because I just love selling ashtrays for some reason. 
All right, I got one last sale out here, and then we're going to head into the eBay cave in there, and I'll tell you what sold out there. And you'll see behind me what sold. It's something that I sell often, and some people look at me like, well, what are you doing? So let's take a look. All right, I love to sell lawn chairs. Now, I typically don't look for these plain Jane ones. Typically, I look to the ones that are low to the ground, like beach chairs where your feet can be in the sand, you know, or your legs. And I look for the ones with high backs, or I look to the ones that are actually rocking chairs. Those are the ones that really sell for pretty good money. But I like the colors on this one. And I'm like, you know, there's two of them. So I should be able to sell them at a discount, what I would sell one at, and sell them fairly quickly. I don't have any of the boxes that I typically ship these in, which make them really easy because the box is already cut to size perfectly. And I'm going to have to fashion a box, which is a bit of a pain, and it's going to make it a little bit of a longer process. But I am still happy to sell these. I paid a dollar a piece, and they sold for $42 plus shipping and we'll just uh, package them up some people ask about how i figure out the dimensions i've been doing it so long i actually got it down pretty good but um it's just simple just lay it on the ground put a yardstick down and add a couple inches on every side and you'll have it and they're really really light so it, it would surprise you maybe depending on how you ship these ups or uh, fedex how cheap they really are all right let's go inside Hey, have an in man going off. And this one, uh, let me just read it to you. It says, hey, Commonwealth, we are purchasing this in man for our daddy, Jordy, who's a huge fan of the channel. We watch your shows daily. Uh, Daddy's been selling for over a year now. He used to be a history teacher, took a leap of faith, and is now selling full-time on eBay. We are really proud of him. Our favorite thing about him selling is getting to go to deliver the packages to the post office. So thanks for sharing your passion and your knowledge. Thank you, thank you guys, thank you. And here you go, Jordy, this is headed your way. History teacher to an eBay reseller. Hmm. Thanks so much. Sounds like the homeschool hustlers need to meet your kids. Here is a Kirby attachment. It is, I don't even know what it is, to be perfectly honest with you, but it was one of the lesser parts and it only sold for six bucks, but it's really light, so we'll ship it off. Hey, have an Inaman going off to Lance. Hey, Kevin, just wanted to support the channel and picked up this ashtray and Inaman. I didn't even know that, so that ashtray out there also was bought. I guess I should have saw that on there. <laughs> Lance, thank you. That's awesome. We do appreciate it. Hoping to get some luck with his store, but forever seat. Oh, but, <laughs> but for every seat. <laughs> Got it. And my new YouTube channel, Texas, Texas Thrift King. Texas Thrift King. I have not looked that up. I just don't think I have. So I don't have a, a little shout out here for you, but uh, maybe I'll put it in the editing. Texas Thrift King, and I will check that out. I enjoy watching you, Dave, Matt, Lonnie, and John, and learn a lot from you guys. I wish you and your family the best. Lance, thank you so much, and I love your store name, but for every seat. Love it. All right, here's another Kirby attachment sold to somebody else. Kind of odd that these sold on the same day. But they did. Let me make sure they didn't sell to the same person. All right, and it's it did not sell to the same person. So this one was twelve ninety five plus shipping on this one, and this one is not going to stay under first class, I don't think, at least not according to the data up here. So this one's going to go out priority, and so went in doubt and parted out. All right, got one going out to Deborah, Renee, Anne, and this one going out to Jeff. Love the videos. Just moved from an apartment to a house. So I now have my own eBay cave. Having a dedicated space is game changing. Yeah, I definitely would say that. So how many of y'all out there sell from your bedroom? <laughs> that is definitely not a dedicated space. Should be dedicated to something else. All right, got a pair of Sperry's here. This looks like something I would pick out at a garage sale. No chance. Uh, Blue Ridge Mama got these, I believe at the Goodwill. It's probably three bucks, $12.95 plus shipping for these women Sperry Castle Hill green and white sandals wedge cork heel <laughs> she also did the listing so thank you blue ridge mama hey this one is last one and it's going out to tom and it's on my phone here he says long time viewer first time buyer been selling on ebay for almost 20 years but started taking it more seriously last year learned a lot watching you and other youtubers thanks for passing your knowledge on my ebay store is oaky picks and more discounts disc d-i-s-c so, at any rate, thank you so much. We appreciate the sale, and you guys are great. And I think, I don't know if I did the Homeschool Hustler store sale or not. If I didn't, head out there and we'll do it. And if I did, we'll see you next time. Hey, we got a Homeschool Hustler with us. We have Reagan, 
And I picked Reagan for this one because Turner probably wouldn't want to sell this, would he? No. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to tell him what it is? Well, it's Blaze and the Monster Machines, but it can turn into a firefighter or a truck thing. Yeah. And this thing comes up too. Yeah, and I bought that at a sale not too long ago, and I think I paid two bucks for it. I think they asked three, and I paid two. And it sold for 16 bucks. So you're going to get a dollar, okay, to save, a dollar to spend. You want to tell them how much money you have saved so far? Well, I have a hundred here and then two hundred forty-five in the bank. Holy cow, you have saved almost everything that you've gotten. That is impressive. All right, well, thanks for joining us, Reagan. Bye. Bye. Hey, I want to take a second to show you this. This is two vintage lawn chairs, two of them. So normally I package them in the 7x7, seven seven, or excuse me, I package them in the numbers, the box that the number 7 USPS boxes come in. But this is actually from the, the box that I get my bubble wrap in, right here, which is looking a little shabby. And there are four of them in that, so this box is twice as big as this. So everything, the dimensions this way stay the same, but this way got cut in half, basically. And I repackaged it up. Took me a little while. The other box is easier, but, you know, 42 bucks plus shipping on this. And the shipping turned out to be overestimated by a couple bucks. So uh, that's fine. It'll pay for the fee. So, you know, I'm going to end up making like $37, $36 profit on this thing, which is not too shabby in my humble opinion. And I like it. It's $21 and some change for shipping. For this one but it's going out pretty close so i think two states over and it is also going fedex so two lawn chairs came under nine pounds so this box is under nine pounds and just to give you a quick little look at the dimensions it's looking what 33 inches by i don't know what do we got here this way we've got 23 so there you go it's going out fedex uh, UPS would be fine too. Post office, no bueno on this one.